Hello, in this video we'll speak about the volume of some regular shape. Let's start with a cube. So this is a cube. A cube is a 3D shape that has equal sides. So this side is equal to this side and equal to this side here. How can we find the volume of the cube? The volume of the cube is side times side times side or we could say side cube. Let's measure the volume of this cube. The volume of this cube is 5.5 centimeters times 5.5 centimeters times 5.5 centimeters. So on the calculator, or we can directly make it cube. So the answer is 166.375 and centimeter times centimeter times centimeter centimeter cube. Let's move to the second regular shape. We want to measure the volume of a rectangular prism. This is an example of a rectangular prism. It doesn't have equal sides as a cube. Okay, how do we find the volume of a rectangular prism? So the volume of a rectangular prism equals the length times the width times the height. This is the length and the width and the height. Let's measure the uh, dimensions of this rectangular prism. So by using the calculator, we measure the volume of this rectangular prism, 2.7 times 6 centimeters times 2.7 centimeters. Okay, we use the calculator, 2.7 times 6 times 2.7, 43.74 and centimeter cube. Now we want to measure the volume of a sphere, so like a football, a basketball, or any other sphere. How do we find the volume of a sphere? The volume of a sphere, we apply this formula, 4 over 3 times pi times r cube, which is 4 over 3 times, you could use pi, 3.14 times r times r times r, or r cube. So for each sphere, you are given its radius or its diameter. If you are given the diameter, then you would find the radius by dividing the diameter over 2. So let's assume that the radius of this uh, basketball is given to be 5 centimeters. Then how do we find the volume of this basketball? 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 5 So 5, 2, 3.33 centimeter cube. And this is the volume of the sphere of radius 5 centimeters. Now we want to measure the volume of a cylinder. This is a cylinder. For every cylinder you are given, you will be given the height of the cylinder as well as its radius. Sometimes you'll be given the diameter instead of the radius. If you are given the diameter, then you will find the radius to be diameter over 2. And this is the height of the cylinder. To measure the dimensions of the cylinder, we'll start with the height. Six centimeters. And we will measure the diameter. It's about 2.7 centimeters. So the height of our cylinder is 6 centimeters and the diameter is 2.7 centimeters. We find the radius, as we said, by dividing the diameter over 2. So 2.7 divided by 2, 1.35 centimeters. Then we can apply the uh, formula to find the volume of a cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is pi times r squared times the height. Instead of pi, you could write 3.14 times r times r, or r squared times the height. So 3.14 times the radius. Times the height. 
Now note that both the height and the radius should be in the same unit. Okay, both of them in centimeters or in any unit, but they have the same unit. Now we will use the calculator. The volume of the cylinder is 34.3359 centimeter cube because centimeter times centimeter times centimeter.